Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to solve word problems in algebra involving consecutive integers. Okay, let's go straight to example number one. So example number one, there are three consecutive integers. The sum of the first two is 35 more than the third. Find the integers. All right, so we are dealing with consecutive integers. And if you notice, the common difference between the consecutive integers is 1. And so if we're going to let x be the first consecutive integer, this means that the next one will be plus 1. So x plus 1, that's the second integer. And then we have x plus 2, that's the third consecutive integer. Alright? The next condition here is the sum of the first two is 35 more than the third. Alright. The sum of the first two is 35 more than the third the third the third is x plus 2 so we simply add 35 to this one so if we're going to translate this into a mathematical equation that will give us x plus x plus 1 equals x plus 2 plus 35 all right the sum of the first two is is in an unequal sign represented by an equal sign and then the third is x plus 2 and 35 more than mean to say we need to add 35 to the third side okay so simplify this we will have x plus x plus 1 equals x plus 2 plus 35 and so we will have 2x plus 1 equals x plus 37 so 2 plus 35 is 37 so combining like terms we have 2x minus x equals 37 minus x okay 2x minus x is x and then 37 minus 1 is 36 this means that 36 is the first consecutive integer the second one is 37 the third one is 38 all right and so therefore, the three consecutive integers are 36, 37, and 38. All right. So let's have now example number two. There are three consecutive odd integers. Three times the largest is seven times the smallest. What are the integers? All right. So this time we are dealing with odd integers. All right. And again, if you notice, the common difference between odd integers is 2. So if you're going to let x be the first odd consecutive integer, the next one would be x plus 2. And then the third one would be x plus 4. Alright? So the largest here is 3 times. Okay, 3 times the largest. The largest is x plus 4. Is 7 times the smallest. The smallest is x. So 7 times of it. So if we're going to translate that into a mathematical statement, then you will have 3 times x plus 4 equals 7 times x, all right? So it is very important that you know how to translate the mathematical expressions into mathematical equations, all right? So if you are interested about the topic, I have demonstrated that in my previous video. You may check that in my videos in my channel. So multiplying, we have 3x and 3 times 4 that's 12 so we have 3x plus 12 equals 7x and then we have 3x minus 7x equals negative 12 3x minus 7x negative 4x equals negative 12 solving for x we divide both sides by negative 4 okay so negative 12 divided by negative two, uh, 4 uh, equals 3 Right. Now again, negative 12 divided by negative 4 equals 3. Alright, so the second uh, consecutive integer is 5 and the third one is 7. Okay, you may check actually. So we can substitute the values to the to this equation. Okay, so that will give us 3 times 3 plus 4 equals 7 times 3. So 3 plus 4 is 7, that will give us 3 times 7 and we have 7 times 3 in the right side. So that will give us 21 equals 21. This means that our answers are correct. Therefore, the three consecutive integers are 3, 5, and 7. Now, let's have example number 2. The sum of four consecutive even integers is 244. Find the integers. Alright, this time we are dealing with even integers. Alright, given is the sum, which is 244. Alright. In consecutive even integers, the common difference is 2. And so if we're going to let x be the first consecutive even integer, the next would be x plus 2. The third one will be x plus 4. 
and the third one will be x plus 6 all right and the sum of that should be 244 all right so if we're going to add them that will give us x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 equals 244 combining like terms we have 4x plus 12 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 6 that's 12 all right so transposing 12 to the right side that will give us 4x equals to 44 minus 12 all right 244 is actually equal to 232 solving for x we divide both sides by 4 all right so 232 divided by 4 that will give us 58 this is the first consecutive even integer the second one is 60 the third one is 62 and the last one is 64 you can check if you are going to add this 4 the result should be 244 so i leave this uh to you you know you add this 4 the sum should be 244 all right so these are the examples of word problems involving uh, consecutive integers. If you like this video, please do like this video. And if you are interested of uh, this kind of topics in algebra, you might want to subscribe to this channel and you may also want to click the notification bell so that you will be uh, notified every time I upload videos related to this. Alright, so thank you for your time and I hope to see you in my next video.